feeling like a shark in a shrimp tank. Big fish, small pond in the shrimp tank. When it's in your Hey everybody, welcome to the post-show wrap-up of The Shrimp Tank. We had a really exciting show today. You can get an entire replay of the whole broadcast by going to shrimptankpodcast.com. You can always download us on iTunes. You get some great advice there from some of the brightest and best entrepreneurs across the state of Georgia. I was joined actually today by one of our guests from Kennesaw State, Amalia Londano, who's a senior there, did a double major in management and finance, and of course, our main guest today, Mark Fonseca, who's the owner of Fonseca Clothiers Incorporated. I would be remiss if at least once on the video I didn't say the word haberdasher so I could get that out for the rest of today. But I want to thank you so much for coming on uh, the program today and really teaching us not only about running a very successful business, but a lot about the clothing business. I learned a lot of things on the show today that I really didn't know and got some insight. And you mentioned this term while we were going through the broadcast today that a lot of men fail, and, and I guess women do too probably, in the way that they pick their clothing, over this acronym you gave us of DKDK. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Yeah, it's just the, it's the don't know what you don't know. And it's not good or bad, it's just a blind spot like we all have in different areas of our life, and clothing for guys is a blind spot. And it's, they just don't know what colors work for them, they just don't know what they should wear, they go in their closet, and like one client said, he hears like the desert blowing and the tumbleweeds <laughs> going by in the closet every time he walks in there because he has no idea what to wear. So that's where I came up with my whole dressing by the numbers and makes it really easy uh, for them, guy, for guys to get dressed. And this is a process where literally people look inside There's of their There's actually clothes. a number in there. So this jacket would be a number one. The shirt would have a number one in it. And the trousers would have a number one. And it would have either BR or BL. So you know whether to wear it with black or brown shoes. Oh, wow. Yeah. And so one jacket could have six shirts and six pants that go with it. But as long as it has the same number in it, 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 it goes together. Okay, and now how is your process uh, when you're advising a, a guy about clothing? Do they know what to expect? Yeah, so it's a three-step process. Like I said, the first step was just getting together for a, a complimentary consultation, ask questions, what do they do you know, socially, you know, are they married, do they have a girlfriend? And one of the questions I ask them is, if you were to walk into a room of your peers, same income level, same social status, same level of education, without saying one word, what message do you want to send? And a lot of guys have never had that question asked. They, wow, it's a great question, I don't know. But really that's when you meet somebody that the first impression is everything, right? You have literally three seconds to make a good first impression. And if that first impression isn't good, it takes literally four to five face-to-face -face meetings to change that impression. Just to be good. Yeah, so that's the first step. The second step after they want go forward, we go to their closet. It's kind of like what not to wear on steroids. We go there, find out what's working, what's not working, what's working we keep, and what's not working we get rid of. We donate it. I have a great ministry that I donate it to. You get a tax write-off. You get a letter so that you're, give, you're doing good things there. So once we have the holes, and then I'll come back on the third visit and bring the colors and patterns. Everything will be numbered so they know exactly what goes with what, and then we kind of measure them up, and they buy whatever they want to buy. Now, I know that you're involved in a, in a lot of different entrepreneur societies, and you actually also address a lot of entrepreneurs here in Atlanta. And I'm wondering that for, for folks that are watching the post-show wrap-up today, uh, are there any advice that you've learned not only in your business but from other entrepreneurs that you've met and how they conduct themselves that these are the qualities you really need to have if you want to be an entrepreneur? If you really want to be an entrepreneur from what you've learned in your business and other people, that you've got to have these qualities if you're really serious about making it as an entrepreneur. Yeah, you know, you hear it all the time, but I really believe you have to love what you do. If people always tell you, you know, do something that you would do for free. If you really, whatever it is, if you love it, then do it. You know, God's given us all different talents and abilities, and all I you do is use my gifts, talents, and abilities to help my clients get from where they are, you know, to where they want to go. And then I would say there's other three, the three things is, is number one, uh, be an expert. Right? Live in the world of DKDK DK and teach people things they don't know they didn't know, number one. Uh, so the second thing um, is also make the complex simple. Right? Anything you can do to make it simple, like with clothing, whoever makes it easy gets the business. You know, if they can press the easy button. I think that's what a lot of guys in my world, I know they tell me they want to do. Mark, I want to come in. A lot of guys will literally just put their credit card down. They'll say, listen, I've heard you, you do everything. You put the clothes together. You number them. You do everything. They want to, eat, they want to press the easy button. They, they'd rather be poked in the eye with a sharp stick than go to the mall or go, oh, to the, yeah. go shopping. Right? They hate shopping. So uh, that's all I do. Is I, you know, and that's, so that what I would say um, 
be a subject matter expert, live in the world of DK, DK, and make the complex simple. What's the number one color that most men pick when it comes to jackets? I'd say blue. I mean, is it blue? I'm yeah, thinking it might I, be. Yeah, blue. I mean, blue goes with everything. Blue. That's what blue works so well. You know, the navy blazer. Uh, that's a staple, right? Mm -hmm. But I'll say go a little bit lighter, like Ted's, a little bit lighter blue. So kind of change it up a little bit. But blue goes. It goes with black. It goes with cordovan. It goes with brown. Really, blue is just a great color. But I'm sure blue goes more with like certain like skin colors than others, right? What would be that skin color? Yeah. So um, you know, pretty much, you know darker skin colors yeah. right you know um so for me i wear a lot of black right mm -hmm. because i have dark hair and dark eyes mm -hmm. um right you you would wear more browns because you've got brown hair so there's a lot of things that that uh, different colors look look good on different people well we want to say thanks for coming on the show today for folks listening to the post show wrap up how can they get in touch with you and your company if they want to buy a shirt, get a whole outfit, want you to wreck their closet up and right. help them rearrange their uh, wardrobe? The best way would be to email me, uh, M as in Mark, B as in Boy, F as in Frank, at dresstheman.com. Uh, you can call me, 404-983-4121, or go to my website, which is dresstheman.com. Now, I don't know how it'll work out for you when you hire Mark, but I will say for me that he took one off my bucket list, and Mark actually had me in a fashion show about five or six years ago, which is pretty cool. Maybe he'll do that <laughs> for you as well, but thanks again, Mark, for coming on the Shrimp Thank Tank today. Me. Thanks, thank Molly, for coming on today yeah, as well and joining us out of your busy schedules. And thank you for joining us on the Post Show Wrap-Up.